Alright, we are up to episode 11 of more Siren Blood Curse. Let's do it. Select the chapter, chapter 1. Hey, who are you? Are you here alone? Oh, our savior, how do you feel? Now that you've started your new existence? Well, I was waiting for you to wake up. I've been doing a little experimenting. You're sick in the head! <laughs> You're more than welcome to stay as long as you like, but I have work to do. Alright, so, playing as Sago Saiga, awesome, okay, this is the last time we play as him in the game, mission objective, acquire the Urian, or however you pronounce that. Now, this mission fucking destroyed me the first time I played it, okay, straight away you've got this nurse walking towards you, look at her face, okay. There's obviously something going on here, alright? She's got all this shit coming out of her face, alright? Really weird. Take note of that. Oh my god, she's getting back up already. This is bullshit. Don't even have time to talk. Fucking hell. Look at that. That's disgusting. Alright, let me get out of here. It's fucking bullshit. Then I'll start talking about this chapter. Alright, there's a guy over there with the guns. I'm gonna be. There we go. Gotcha. Fucking reload. No, don't. Damn, man, get the fuck out. Mm, there we go. Alright. She's probably running towards me. You speak? No, good. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Just give me a break. Alright, now. I also like it how Say goes in his doctor outfit, you know, as opposed to his typical brown suit. That's pretty cool as well. Now this chapter, alright, of episode 11, the first time I played it, it fucking destroyed me, okay? It's extremely confusing as to what to do, alright? Because of one specific goal. And I'll get into that when we get up to that, that goal, okay? But, man, <sighs> I must have spent a day playing this chapter, okay? It was fucking bullshit. I was loving the game up to this point, you know, the first time I played it. But once I got here, you know, initially I was enjoying the chapter. I was running around, I was shooting shit, I was playing the Sega Saiga, my favorite guy. I was loving it. Once we got to that goal, man, I was fucking angry. Okay, I turned the game off for a couple of days, came back to it, still couldn't figure it out, was forced to look up a walkthrough of how to get past. I'm sure a lot of people would have done the same thing, okay? It's just fucking bullshit. But I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do so that you don't suffer the same fate as me. Now, first of all, if we look at our goals, all right? Power on the elevator from the control panel. So we're standing directly in front of it. If we try to do it, bang, the elevators are currently powered off. There's a fuse box to the left. So if we... Exa Damn it! I've got to be quick about this shit because that chick keeps getting up very quickly. Alright. Bang. Fuse is missing, alright? So we've got to find the fuse. Before you head down through the door there, modify your shotgun. So I'll do that now. <laughs> 
Awesome. Now I don't need to manually aim it. Okay, I just press left L1 and it sort of auto aims. And I'll just shoot. Bang. Goes down. Fucking love the modified shotgun. Alright, so now, next objective, go down here. We've got to find the fuse. It's really easy. Alright. Go through here. Be careful, there'll be some shibido around. There's one there. With the modified shotgun though, there. It makes short work of them. So here we go, here's the fuse, alright. If you look on the map, this is exactly where it is. Easy. Pick that shit up. Now naturally you're going to try and run back right to where the elevator control panel was and put the fuse into it, but if you try and do that, this is what happens. Alright, so the roof has collapsed, we can't go that way. Immediately go right and drop down here. There'll be some shibido around, I can hear him crawling. Spider shibido. Fucking most annoying shibido. Actually, the fly shibido is the most annoying. Hate it. Alright, so. Let's go up this ladder here. Alright. We're just trying to get back to the elevator control panel now. Alright. It's quite funny, you know, now that I know exactly what to do for this chapter, it's sort of become my favourite in the whole game. But the first time I played it, I fucking hated it, okay? It's really an interesting contrast, you know, going from absolutely hating it to now completely loving it. Alright, here we go. That nurse is back up again. I've probably shot her down about 15 times now. It's fucking ridiculous. Alright, so set the fuse. The power to the elevator control panel is back on, so we'll switch it on. Done, okay. Acquire the Urian in central shaft level 1, so let's go and do that right now. Alright, so I'm going to go straight back down this ladder here. And down the elevator, because we've now got power. Alright, so over here, if we press it, it'll sort of go down. Alright, but the elevator's, you see, it's fucked, but we can jump down now. Alright, just keep going forward, bang, you've jumped all the way down. So that's awesome. Alright, and that elevator is totally fucked now, you can't use it anymore. But it's alright, there's one right here, okay? Before you go, use that elevator, run down this way and you'll notice there's this giant maggot shibido here, okay? I'm just gonna run around and explain what you need to do. You cannot kill this thing, okay? It's fucking bullshit, alright? There is a ladder over here, okay? I'm not gonna climb it because basically all you need to do for this chapter is acquire the Urian, okay? That's our main goal, as you can see there. To acquire it, we're pretty much here, okay? All you need to do is climb the ladder I'm standing in front of, run along a little walkway up there, and press X, okay? That's it. It takes a whole six seconds to do. But, if you try and climb this ladder while this maggot Shibido is still alive, he will kill you every single time in one hit, okay? Sometimes I can't even get up the fucking ladder, it's bullshit. Okay, so you need, even if he's facing away like that, okay? He will still get you, okay? It's virtually impossible. I have read about people, you know, online, they've posted on forums and stuff that they've said they can, they've actually done it, you know, just run up the ladder and collect the Urian. But, <laughs> it's fucking hard, okay? It's very, very difficult, so. You want to go and do the sub goal, okay? Which is find a wooden stake in central shaft level 1, which is where we are now. I'll just go ahead and pick that up. And then stake the Shibido brain, okay? To stop this giant maggot Shibido here. So that's actually how we kill it. Now, the stake is just here. So there we go, we'll pick that up. Now let's get back out of here. So what we've got to do now is stake the Shibido brain to stop that maggot Shibido, alright? 
if you remember from a previous episode, I believe when we played as Melissa in the hospital, there was that nurse wheeling that giant Shibido brain, okay, in a wheelchair. And that killed all the spider Shibido in that hospital area. You're not going to find a Shibido brain like that here, okay? It's very cryptic. The Shibido brain in this chapter with Sago Saiga is actually that nurse, okay? That we have been killing for like fucking 15, 20 times over. Why the hell isn't this door opening? What the fuck? What the hell's going on here? Oh god, he was probably just about to open it. Are you kidding me? That's fucking weird, I don't remember that happening last time. Get up there. Yeah, so Shibido Brain is not going to be a giant fucking just a brain, you know, in a wheelchair type thing like it was for one of the previous episodes. It's actually the nurse that we have been taking care of with all that shit in her face, okay? Which, if you've been paying attention to the story, was Sago Saiga's lover or friend, okay? He befriended a nurse in the hospital that he worked at, okay? Sago was a doctor, if you didn't know that, and she's become a Shibido. And I guess that's why Sago killed himself in one of the previous episodes. So that's interesting. Alright, now. If you go in here, right? Pick up Dynamite Detonator. I don't know what this does, alright? But if you look in your items, we've got a dyn Dynamite Detonator, okay? I have no idea what it does. A detonator found in the mine storage room. An essential item for exploding dynamite safely. I don't know what this does, okay, but you don't need to pick it up at all to complete this mission. This chapter, okay? Oh, God. Fuck off! Get out! I hope I got enough ammo. I feel like. Are you kidding me? That thing still didn't die? Or did it? How much ammo have I got? 13, alright, that's not cool. Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta shoot down that Shibido brain or the nurse that was usually here last time, alright? Just kept getting back up every fucking five seconds, which is really annoying. But now that you wanna try and find her, it's virtually impossible to, okay? You know, when I looked up a walkthrough of how to get through this mission, this chapter, alright? It told me the Shibido brain was that nurse, okay? So I ran around the whole fucking level ten times over trying to find her, but I could not find her, okay? So I had to continue reading the walkthrough, and what you need to do is shut off the elevators. Okay, because she just runs from you now, as opposed to chasing you, you know? I fucking hate that. When you want to find something, it's not there. But when you don't want to, it's there, you know what I mean? When you want Shibido to leave you alone, they don't, and vice versa. Fuck that shit. Alright, so... I don't know why that alarm's going off, but... I gotta push this cart... and jump into it. Because there is a Shibido with a gun on this bridge, right? And that'll kill him. There we go. Jump out. And the Shibido brain, or the nurse, your lover, whatever you want to call her, should be here, okay? Now, normally she wouldn't be, but because I've switched off the elevator, she can't use it, okay? As you can see, she's trying to get down. If you were to not shut off the elevator, she would already be in the process of going down, okay? It's fucking bullshit, so... Anyway, there we go. Make sure you shut the elevator off. Kill her, and then, as you can see, X to drive stake in. Doorstar. Doorstar. Okay, so we've killed her, we've driven the stake in. And now, we have to go back and switch on the elevators. So that we can get back down to where that giant maggot, sorry, where that giant maggot Shibido was. Which will be dead now, alright, because we've killed the Shibido brain. And then we'll collect the urine and that's it, we're done. 
So it's quite a lengthy chapter, this one, actually, but now that I know what to do, you know, I fucking love it. It's awesome. Sago Saiga gets a shotgun, running around in, like, a doctor's outfit. Awesome. Alright. So go down the elevator here. Alright, so we'll run along here, straight back down, and where is that fucker? As you can see, look, he's dead, okay? Done and dusted. So now we can safely climb this ladder without any hassle, and all we do is run along here, and press X to squeeze through, and that's it, okay? So, look, if you get really lucky, you can actually do it without killing that maggot shibito there, okay? But it is really difficult, okay? Because once you climb the ladder, it's almost like it's programmed to home in on you and kill you in one hit, even though it's not looking at you. It's fucking bullshit, okay? But anyway, let's go through and complete this chapter. Okay, so there we go, mission accomplished. And that's the last time we play as Sago Saiga in the game. It's a good mission if you know what to do, but man, I reckon the first time you play it, you're going to get totally fucking fucked up. Just stuck, okay? Bullshit. So we'll skip this. This isn't it either. Where are the ritual grounds? I don't have time for this. Damn it! I congratulate you, for all fortune is yours, all glory and all blessing. I was alone last time, but this time I have you with me. Okay, so we're playing as Howard Wright for the second chapter in episode 11. Mission objective, enter the nest core with Bella Monroe. Another difficult chapter, okay? Episode 11 is fucked in terms of difficulty. Really, really hard, alright? I actually had to look up a walkthrough on how to get past this chapter as well. Mainly for the end. Alright, let's kill this fly shibido straight off the bat. Get out, you fuck. Look at this. Come on. Get out. There we go. Alright, we'll grab the nail hammer. Quickly run along here. So let's have a look at the objectives, okay? Goals. Reach the nest core with Bella Monroe. That's our main one. Send Bella Monroe ahead. Break open the entrance to the Shibido nest. Under the cover of thunder. Alright, so that's really easy. So basically we've got to break these panels here, the wooden planks, to get through. But before you do that, go over here and we have to send Bella through. Alright, so we'll do that. And now we can go ahead and break these wooden planks. Someone's looking at me. Alright, go through. Go to your left first and kill any Shibido in the area. There'll be a spider shibido out here. Alright, you don't want to deal with that shit while Bella is following you. There we go. I fucking hate spider shibido. Freaked me out. Alright, so let's go back and get Bella Monroe. She'll be hiding in here, so just open the door. There she is. Alright, we gotta go up this way first. 
You gotta send Bella through safe areas, okay? So we've gotta send her through here, just wait till she gets close and then it will allow you to do that. Okay, there we go, send Bella through. And she'll just crawl through that little hole, okay? It'd be nice if I could do that, but I gotta go the long way. It's alright. Climb up here. Alright, open the door, we'll get Bella. There she is. Took so long, it was like fucking 20 seconds. Alright, so there'll be a spider should be down here. Just gonna kill it. Three hits and then whack him in the head, bang, they're done. With a nail hammer. That's awesome. Okay, go in here, get a checkpoint. Open the door, jump straight down. And now we've got a new objective, okay? I'll go through that in a minute, but I just want to get Bella down here. Where is she? There we go. Just gonna make her wait in here. Because you do not want her following you for this part, okay? This part's actually a little bit tricky, alright? Okay, so our goal there is lure the spider shibido into the abandoned house and trap them inside, okay? So that's the abandoned house. There are two spider shibido surrounding the house, alright? <sighs> you don't need to do this, okay? You can just kill them and progress, but... It's hard to explain. Look, I'm just going to do it first, and then I will talk about it. Get the fuck off me. <sighs> Alright. You're going to want to do it because if you do, you get a checkpoint, okay? If you don't, you do not get the checkpoint. Come on, man. Get the fuck off me. Off! Okay, quickly get out. Turn around and close the door. Close it. Close it. Oh shit, the other one's right there. Fuck. God damn it. Alright. So go open the door and. Mm! How many times have they jumped on me? God, I'd rather just they just slap me. Yeah, like that. Alright, so get this. Get off me! Get them both in here. Fuck, I hope they don't hit me anymore. It's know how many more hits I can take, you know, we don't have a life bar, I can't see shit, but I'm running straight past and getting out. Turn around, close the door. <sighs> That's pretty tight, right? There we go, we've done it. Alright. Make Bella follow you. And we'll run along here. And we come to this bridge right there, okay? And as you can see, we just got a checkpoint there in the bottom left corner. If you do not lure the spider Shibido into that house, okay, and lock the door on them, this checkpoint will become void for you, okay? Even though it says checkpoint, you will have to start back, you know, up there at that checkpoint, and you'd have to kill either kill the Shibido here again or try and lure, lure them into the house, alright? So trust me, just lure those fuckers into the house, you'll get this checkpoint, alright? Now this part coming up is extremely difficult if you don't know what to do, alright? So I'm just going to go ahead and do it here. Do exactly what... Oh, fuck, there was a fly should go there. Hopefully it doesn't see me. Yeah, I sort of had to be a bit quick here, but hopefully I'll be able to do it. Go over here, turn the lever. This will bring out this awning. you got to do this, okay? Just do exactly what I do. Go where I go. There's fly shibido everywhere in the area here. Even one with a gun, okay? Fucking bullshit. Get up! What the fuck? Okay, but... As you can see, there's a fly shibido right there. Alright. If I go into my goals... Knock out the shibido brain to stop the other shibido. So this fly shibido here is the shibido brain, okay? Kill it, and you will kill all the other fly shibido in the area, including the one with the gun, okay? So, you know, shibido brain takes on many definitions, you know? 
It's fucking bullshit. I wish the game was just a bit more consistent. You know, Shibito Brain can mean literally the Shibito Brain, which we encountered in one of the previous episodes when we were playing as Melissa Gale. It also meant Sago Saiga's nurse lover from the previous chapter we just played as. And now it's meaning a fucking fly Shibito, you know what I mean? Just bullshit, but whatever. Alright, so we'll run up here. Gotta pull Bella up, because she's too short to jump. Like that. Run along here, and we are done, okay? Where's that coming from? Let's move. We gotta hurry. Oh. So there we go. Mission accomplished. Relatively easy, as long as you know what to do, okay? But that last section, with all the... I mean, I made it look really easy, okay? I just straight away went and killed the Shibido brain, which was the fly Shibido, but... Trust me, if it's your first time playing, you are going to get fucked up in that part, okay? So that's the end of the episode, okay? Episode 11. Very, very difficult episode. Probably the hardest episode in the whole game. I'd be surprised if anyone can get through it without looking up a little bit of a, a walkthrough, a little bit of a guide, or, or getting a bit of help, okay? Because it is quite difficult as to what to do. Alright, but that's it. We're done. <laughs> So we'll leave it there guys, and I will see you in the next video for episode 12, final episode of the game.